Hi crafty friends, Candace Gillespie here with Candace's Canvases. Welcome back to the final card of my Masculine Valentine card series of 2018. This fun card is card eight. Um, for my social media links, my mailing address, and any supplies that I used in this video, they'll be in the description bar below. Subscribe, like this video, and leave me a joyful comment. And head on over to Facebook and join my crafty Facebook group called Candace's, wait, Crafters Anonymous by Candace's Canvases. All right, let's get started. I'm pulling out this old stencil I have from Stampin' Up. I will link one, uh, actually I'll link my Stampin' Up friend, Tarina. I'll link her Stampin' Up description or contact information down below in the description bar. And you can ask her if they still have the stencil. Um, I will try to find one that's similar in the event that they don't have the same one at Stampin' Up. So here I'm using um, this is black soot distress oxide to make polka dots, black kind of smoky looking polka dots on my card panel. And I'm going to use this burlap and I'm just making it so that it's centered and I'm pulling out some extra pieces if it's too long. And then I'm gonna start with fighting with my ATG gun and it, I can't help but to laugh at myself because this gun gives me the hardest time. This is my, I said it in my last video too, but this is my second ATG gun. I just threw away the first one and I thought maybe it's the gun, maybe it's that one. So I got another one still the same problem anyway all right so I used my ATG tape to tape that on there and then some wet glue also so that it really stuck in the fibers I'm using a black top fold card base well it's kind of horizontal top fold right I don't know <laughs> I have this one inch square punch and I'm gonna punch out enough squares to spell Valentine on it so what is that, three, six, nine letters, or nine squares. And then I'm bringing in little tiny um, letter dies. Here I'm kind of just trying to figure out the orientation. In my mind, I, I visualized that it was gonna be horizontal like this, but you'll see that it works out better if I do it vertically with a side fold. Here I'm sifting through my dies and I have this um, old Stampin' Up! die. While you're chatting with Tarina, my Stampin' Up! friend, ask her if these are still available too. So I am going to spell out Valentine and I don't have, there's only one of each letter so I do have to come back with the repeated letters but I'm fine with that. And I'm skipping ahead to um, when I've already pulled it out of my dye machine and I'm you know you have to fuss with everything to get it out of the dyes and all that and skipping ahead again and here I am gluing each letter in the center of these one inch black squares so these letters if these are one inch squares these letters might be like think of something less than one inch. <laughs> Larger than three quarters, hello, seven eighths. These might measure about seven eighths inch tall, inches tall. Um, here I am being very generous with my glue because I want it to soak into the fibers of that burlap. And I'm starting with the center letters first and then I'll glue on the um, outside letters. Here I am finishing it up. I just cut a bunch out so you didn't have to watch me glue everything, all the little pieces on. I put glue on the bottom of the burlap too, the frayed part of the burlap, and it sticks just fine. Glue that onto my black card stock make sure everything's nice and burnished down into the fibers. Here with my dies I'm gonna spell out be mine. It seems to be my 
go-to sentiment, Valentine's sentiment. I just figured guys, at least my guy, my husband, doesn't particularly care for schmoopy schmoopy, you know, sentiments. <laughs> he doesn't not like them, but you know, it, it just doesn't matter to him. So be mine is kind of, hey guy, be mine, you know? So I am keeping the inside of the bee because I do, you'll see I'm gonna glue this on to um, the black hard panel and so the black will show through. This Tim Holtz ruler is amazing and I'm so glad that I got it because here on the other side of it, of, of the ruler, it has the zero in the center so you can center, you can find the center. Make, makes it really nice and easy to center sentiments. I'm trying to be as gentle as I can. So I'll just glue this on and this fine liner bottle comes in really handy because I'm just going to glue all around those letters so that it doesn't pop up. You can definitely leave it like this but what I did was I put the B back in place without glue and then I add a little bit of glue to the inside there and then I add the inside of the B and it works out fine. So I like how it's kind of opposite on the inside where on the outside it's white letters and black background and on the inside it's black letters with a white background. So here's my finished card. I hope you guys have enjoyed this series. Um, subscribe if you haven't already, like this channel, and leave a joyful comment, and I'll be back again soon with another project to share with you. Bye!